Today we're going to talk about the history of massage. We're using the book of, from Salvo, Practice and Principles, and this is chapter 1. 1500 BC, the European cave paintings depict what appears to be the use of a therapeutic touch. 3000 BC, we have Chinese records revealing the practice of massage. First written accounts of therapy, therapeutic massage originated from China. In 800 BC, the knowledge of massage gradually becomes an integral part of Hindu tradition as exemplified by sacred Ayurveda. We'll discuss this more when we talk about Thai and Shiatsu, and we'll get into some concepts of Ayurveda as well. 460 to 375 BC, we have Hippocrates, who is considered the father of Western medicine. 200 BC, we have Chinese manuscripts denoting massage as one method for the treatment of illness. 100 to 40 BC was the time of Julius Caesar, and he used massage to help with his epilepsy. 1 AD, the Yellow Emperor was collected, which is a collection of various medical thoughts and beliefs, which has then become the classic scripture of Chinese medicine, TCM, or Hong Ti Nu Ching, which is going to be important for you to know for your quiz. During the 6th and 7th century, Euclipius was a Greek physician he was responsible for the emerging medical profession at that time. He became a god to them. He used the staff with a holy snake wrapped around it. That still remains the symbol of the medical profession. Although later they added another snake and the wings. That's what we're probably more familiar with. 300 to 200 AD was the life of Galleon, whose writings dominated the Western medical thinking for 1,500 years. 800 to 932, the Persian writers discussed Greek, Roman, and Arabic medical practices, which also included massage. 1316, we find the first modern treatise on anatomy, Anrathmia, which is written by Mondo, D. Luisi. Fifteen fourteen through fifteen sixty four, we find the foundations of modern human anatomy in the West are established by Flemish physician Andres Vallès. Fifteen sixty four to fifteen eighty four, in fifteen sixty nine we have the art of gymnastica which is considered to be the first book in the field of sports medicine. Timothy Bright was during that time. He taught at Cambridge University and wrote the first medical work discussing baths, exercise, and massage. In 1700s, in Italy, Giovanni Borelli had analyzed the phenomenon of muscular contraction. At the same time, in England, William Harvey demonstrates the blood circulation is impelled by the beat of the heart. Here you have some a description of the heart moving the circulation of the blood. In the 1800s, Pierre Ling develops the Ling system of medical gymnastics and exercise. He is known as the father of Swedish massage. Dr. Johann Mesger, through 1838 and 1909, is responsible for making massage a fundamental component of physical rehabilitation. The French language is widely used at that time, and therefore he is credited with using French terminology to describe massage techniques such as effleurage, petrissage, and tapotement. 1856, the Ling system is introduced into the United States by George Henry Taylor and Charles Fayette Taylor. In 1857, 
in 1883, Hartvig Nissen opens the Swedish Health Institute. In the 1920s, it, the Chartered Society of Massage and Medical Gymnastics is founded. 1943, American Massage Therapy Association was established, AMTA. This was changed from their previous American Association of Masseurs and Masseuses. In 1987, another association started the Associated Bodywork and Massage Professionals, ABMP. Both of those companies, AMTA and ABMP, offer insurance for both students and professionals. 1990, we have the foundation of the Massage Therapy Foundation. This is a research company trying to encourage massage to be medical based and to have justification of our techniques. They have case studies that you can submit for grant projects both as a student and as a practitioner. 1992, there was the establishment of the National Certification Board and Massage and Body Work, so NCBTMB. They still have a national certification exam that you can take and become nationally certified. In 2005, we have the introduction of the MBLEX. Prior to that date, you, you had the national exam test, but the Federation of State Massage Therapy Board was established in 2005, and they began creating additional tests. In 2013, board certification was offered by NCBTMB. Idaho establishes the licensure of massage therapy. CEUs are now required. The former massage therapists are grandfather clause into the licensure, but now need to follow statutes as set forth by Idaho Board of Occupational Licensing, IBOL. Prior to this time, 2013, you did not have to have a license in the state of Idaho. Therefore, we had all kinds of problems, as we still currently do, of having massage therapists that are not qualified for massage therapy or perform other services. 2014, MBLEX was established as a single exam offered for licensure, so the other exam offered by NCBTMB was no longer offered for a new therapist coming into the field. You can still take the national exam, but that's a second exam on top of the MBLEX, and you usually do that after you have a little bit of experience in time. The MBLEX is the test that you will be taking after you finished your externship. So for your homework tonight, you're going to make a timeline of massage on pages 198 and 199 in your anatomy and physiology journal. Upload that picture into week one history of massage that is in your assignments in Canvas. Look into the student insurances from both AMTA and ABMP. They offer a variety of services for insurance, but there are some different perks, so to speak, for students depending on what you would like to do. So I want you to write a paragraph about what the differences are. Choose one for you to go ahead and get insurance through, and then you can tell me why you chose that one. Then here are their links, AMTA and ABMP. There's a couple other assignments in Canvas for you to look at, so make sure you go through those. I think there's uh, four assignments for you to do in this lesson. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.